guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little bit of a vlog style. Obviously I look a hot mess, my hair is everywhere, but I um, need to go get new point shoes today, I need to go get fitted. We're gonna go out and have dinner, and uh, I would, I just decided that maybe, maybe I should just show you kinda how I get ready point shoe, because I did say on my Instagram, my Instagram stories that, um, my next video would be dance because that is what you, what that's what y'all wanted. Um, I said, would you like a makeup or a dance video? Y'all pick dance. So that's gonna be this week's video. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be makeup and dance, but um, mainly dance. I need new shoes before I start, and I'm going to go to where I go get my shoes. So yeah, I'm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup, and um, yeah. Let's do my makeup. Oh, this is really bad because I can't see. So I got ready, I'm done, I'm finished, I did my makeup. This is what it looks like today. So yeah, we are about to leave. And then I'm gonna go get my point shoes. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, so um, yeah, I was gonna vlog yesterday and it ended up, I just didn't, the last time you saw me, I was like, I'm gonna vlog. And, I did my makeup and then I was in, about to leave and I was like, I'm gonna show you. And yeah, it, it just didn't happen. It's the next day. And uh, yeah, I've, I slept. I didn't do anything to my hair this morning and I have no makeup on, so that's what you're getting. So the, I did end up going to Footlights, I didn't lie. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't end up going to Footlights this is where I get my point shoes. Um, I just, I don't like going other place and I went and I got fitted. Mom, do you remember who fitted me? Joy, I think. Joy, yes, yes. And Joy fitted me there. Um, she did really, really good and she was really, really good at explaining things and um, how the shoes are supposed to fit and how they work and all this other stuff and how just because my um, shoes that I had before weren't dead to the point that they are, you know, they're, the box is still a little bit hard because these are my old ones. Doesn't mean that they're still alive. By the way, I just noticed this, and I was gonna say it in my video, but not as a part of the video something yesterday. But yes, the scab on my nose, yes, my rabbit bit my nose, okay? And I totally forgot about it until now I'm looking and like, oh, girl. So yes, my rabbit bit me. So yeah, I went to Footlights, I got fitted, and I tried on two pairs of blocks. Blocks is really the only brand that's really gonna work for me because they um, they make a lot of sizes bigger because I have really really big feet. Um, so yeah, my other ones these were blocks. These are just they're the exact same shoes, but the shank is softer on my new ones. That's what she told me. So yeah, and I tried them on, and she said they looked really really good on me. And she gave me a lot of things to do if it just ends up um like if i need help getting over because i don't have archy feet at all my feet uh, have such a little arch i don't you know 
I have less than an arch than I would think a normal person that doesn't dance at all. Like my feet just don't have an arch on them and like it's just <laughs> so me having big feet and then being wide and not having very arched feet, point shoes can be very difficult for me. So I got these and they are all brand new and shiny. And I really like how these look on my feet. And yeah, they're nine and a half because I have really, really big feet. <laughs> so yeah, and so I just have to sew the ribbons and stuff on and then she said that what she would recommend is me maybe doing a couple roll, like rolls in my feet from you know rolling up on the point before class just so that these are a little bit more broken. And she told me a, a whole bunch of other stuff so I did get these and then I, I got ribbon and elastic as well which it's in here but it's all confused because I have my old ones in here so I did get ribbon and elastic so those are going to be my new shoes that I'm going to dance with because these are extremely dead and they're falling apart so I used these all in my last dance year I got them right before yeah so I just need to sew the ribbons and the elastic on the new ones and then I need to mark in the shoes what foot goes on what. Uh, obviously what we have learned from the from this trip that this will not be the last trip I make to foot footlights this um this dance season or this year. Uh, another thing that she really really made sure to um to like really point out is with my with these I was doing really good until around Christmas and then I started getting really bad blisters on my pinky toes and I I told my teacher and she said okay well we, you know just stuff some lamb's wool and I got the lamb's wool it, it it worked but like the lamb's wool wouldn't stick it would move it was smelling and like it just wasn't everything I needed um, that was a sign that they were being they started not my camera's dying! I hate my life. It was just a full battery when I put this on, I'm telling you. Okay, well if this ends, I'm sorry. So that was a very big um, thing to show for me that they were dead, but I didn't know because I've I plan to make a whole other dedicated video to this, but my history of point and point shoes and all that stuff, it's been very, very bad for me personally, just of a whole bunch of other stuff, which I'm not going to get in on this video. But yeah, so like, if you get a pair of shoes and something's starting to feel wrong, if you're getting blisters, you're rubbing, or like if some, if just one little thing isn't working out for you, I definitely recommend looking and really evaluating because if it's not, it's not giving you the support that you need if it's having rubbing and stuff like that. So, yes. So if you have any issues with your shoes, right now I haven't really danced in these, but these don't give me any pain, any discomfort at all. So if these ever start giving me discomfort, then I need to go and get new shoes because they are not supporting sis in the way she needs support. So that's all for foot life. And then, oh, that was loud. And then we went to. Uh, we went to go get food and it was really good and I was gonna vlog like all of this but like I just ended up not to. I had my camera and everything. First place we went to, we went to my mom, we went to Bath and Body Works. I got um, some body gel, we got cool coconut, um, French lavender honey, wild strawberry leaf, sweet summer kiss. And hello sunshine. Those are just some of the shower gel we got because we did not have any, so we got some of that. And then we got more. We got um, sweet by the pool gel, shower gel, and then we got a Georgia peach hand wash and a island pomegranate. Pom no. Papaya. And that's all we got from Bath and Body because we didn't have anything. And then I went to Hot Topic and they had um, buy two get a shirt for free. So I'm in the process of getting new clothes. I'm gonna re revamp my wardrobe and get a whole bunch of new clothes because it's been a while. So, so yeah, I got an in sync shirt because my mom loves in sync. I like NSYNC. I told her that if she would get it, then I would wear it. And yeah, so this is one of the shirts I got. And I, you know, it might be a little cute, you know, cute moment. 
And then I also got this shirt that says not not today with a little like cute little cat thing in it. And then the shirt that started as well, I wasn't really planning on getting anything and then I saw this shirt. I don't know about you, but I've been really obsessed with playing PUBG on my phone. It came out for mobile. I'm actually watching Jenna and Julian playing PUBG right behind her that I haven't muted. So yeah, I got a shirt and it says um, Born to Loot. The sticker, so you can see it. And it's a little level 3 helmet, so I really like that. And then we went to... I'm waiting for this camera to die. Then I went to Sears and, well, I went to a couple other places trying to find a dress and the dresses were $100 and we're not doing that. So I went to like two other places trying to find stuff, but it was too expensive, so we didn't get anything. I got these leggings, they were like, they were on sale for like $10 and they were just like black leggings and they have rhinestones all over them and I thought they were really cute. Next, I got this cute dress. I was like, because I, I need a dress, like a... And I also need to get a new pair of like fancy shoes. But like I, I've been in the need of dresses because of my dresses are um, too short for me because being a tall person getting dresses can be an issue because they're too short. So yeah, I got this really cute, it's really, really flowy and it, um, it's not all the way down to the ground on me, but it's not really, really too short. It's really soft, really comfy. And um, eh, does this have the shoulder little thing? Yes, it does. And then they have a little shoulder cut out, so it would be like off the shoulder. And I think this is really cute. Um, I also got a whole bunch of little bras and stuff. I'm not going to show you all of them because like, why would you want to see a whole bunch of bras? But I got like a couple of these because these are what I wear. And then I got these shirts. They're just kind of really simple shirts. It's just a teal, like kind of a stripe pattern. And then I got this shirt that has like a flowery, flowery type of a look on them. So I got those. And the rest in here. Yeah, the rest of what I got is just bras and panties that I don't think you want to see that. Next, I had to go to Sephora because there was a JCPenney, so I had to. I had to. It was like mandatory. So my mom ended up getting a um, free little bag of goodies with her purchase. So we got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, we got like a dry shampoo. We got a perfume sample. We got a little wallet thing that has lipsticks on it. And we have a little eye pencil from Sephora. We have a hair mask for frizzy hair. And then we got a lip pencil from Make It Forever and the little foundation from Clinique. And then from Clinique as well, we got a um, moisturizer. And then we got the Sephora thing. It's a high, it's a Marc Jacobs high liner. Like, I really don't know what this is or if there's any of that. And what the actual stuff we bought is my mom used this spray, so she got some Urban Decay, Urban Decay All Nighter, but she got the Pollution. Well, because they didn't have the normal one, but it's, like, it's the same thing. <sighs> you know, it's just she needs some brow stuff, so I told her she should get the benefit of proof in number four for her brows because she's not like a I'm gonna do my eyebrows. She's just like I want to fill it in so they don't look weird. Hi Charlotte. Haven't filmed a video since getting her? I haven't. I got a new bunny. I was gonna make a video on it, I just never got to it. I got a new bunny, her name is Charlotte. Um, I'll throw a picture. That was my rabbit. I got um, uh, the Too Faced, what is this called? The Mattifying Blue Setting Powder, the Peach Perfect Powder. A lot of beauty groupers raved about this and I had been looking for it and they had it, so I got it in the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation in the shade Porcelain. And you know this, if you watch any of my videos, you know that this is what I watch. 
so yeah that's what I got I'm sorry I didn't end up filming if you want um, the video of me okay sorry my camera died and I am spent the past two hours trying to edit the video and it's just I'm having a lot of issues with it. This is the last thing I'm gonna do. This is gonna record it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment and comment down below. If you would like to see that video of me doing about my point shoes, and if you like the haul, go ahead and subscribe and turn my post notification on. So you get notified every single time I make a video. So yeah. Love you guys so much and bye.